What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of Sprint's Galaxy Nexus. Goodbye WiMAX, say hello to 4G LTE. This is the first Sprint LTE capable model hit the market. Let's go ahead, open it up and see how it performs. So the box is pretty familiar, Sprint and Galaxy device -y. We've got a picture of the device on the front, Galaxy Nexus down below, Sprint logo. We've got pictures of the device, pictures of the device, and some information on the back. Sprint joins Verizon as the only carrier to offer an officially sanctioned Galaxy Nexus. Go ahead and pull the top of the box off. Sent to us courtesy of the folks at Sprint. And boom, there's the Galaxy Nexus. Go ahead and pull it out of the box in all of its ice cream sandwich packing glory. Underneath, we got some business. Let's go ahead and see what kind of business we got. Uh, getting started guide, you, you guys know what joke I'm gonna make. We're getting started quickly. Some warranty information. Sprint's always really good about including a bag for recycling your old devices. Uh, throwing your phones, and especially the batteries, away and can have some trouble with landfills. Uh, it's always a good idea to recycle. We've got micro USB cable. We've got headphones with inline microphone. Most people always say that I never take the headphones out and look at them, so I'm going to do that. Here are headphones with earbuds and inline microphone that I mentioned to prove that I'm not a liar. And we've got the battery, which is a 1,850 milliamp hour affair. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the phone. We'll power it on and run through all the rest of the specs. All right, so while this guy is booting up, uh, it is available now for $199 on a two-year contract or just under $550 if you want to pick it up without contract. Uh, definitely go ahead and check the carrier's website because those prices can always change and fluctuate. Uh, it is running Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. Actually, is the flagship ice cream sandwich device and the reference device, uh, which means they wrote the code specifically for this phone. Uh, from a dimension standpoint, a relatively familiar 5.3 inches by 2.7 inches by a nice and thin 3.7 inches. Go ahead and hit start. And we'll let it look for all of its stuff. Uh, the screen is 4.7 inches, always measured diagonally, with a resolution of 720 by 1280, and that's a beautiful OLED display. So we've got an HD screen here. Battery, as mentioned, is 1,850 milliamp hours. That's gonna be good for about an advertised seven and a half hours of talk time. Uh, powering it is a 1.2 gigahertz dual core TI made chip. If you guys like to keep track of all that business, it's the TI OMAP 4460. Got a gig of RAM. Uh, Sprint's got a nice amount of storage in here too, 32 gigs. Uh, camera, it's got them. Uh, the back, it's a five megapixel affair with of course an LED flash. And that can take 1080p video. That's not the only camera that it's got. We got one right there as well for taking all your Facebook duck shots. Uh, that is a 1.3 megapixel camera. Uh, Bluetooth 3.0 and LTE is in here. Uh, it's gonna come with a $50 Google Wallet credit, good until May 22nd, so that's pretty nice. Go ahead and buy all kinds of stuff without having to take your wallet out. Uh, it takes advantage of built-in NFC. Uh, Sprint LTE is coming mid-year 2012. Uh, Sprint has announced that it will be uh, initially launching in Atlanta, Baltimore, Dallas, Houston, Kansas City, and San Antonio. Um, so, this being a CDMA LTE device, got to go through and check for all the updates. That's what it's doing right now. So we've been registered. Let's go ahead and see if we are online. Boom, and now we are all good to go. Uh, so there should be a pretty familiar uh, deal if you've ever used a Galaxy Nexus device or if you've ever used ice cream sandwich. Uh, this should all be pretty standard. I'll go ahead and go to the home screen. I will take a real quick look and check out some of the settings. Uh, so what we don't have, are any physical buttons. We have on-screen uh, buttons here on the Galaxy Nexus. You can see they stay right down there. Uh, let's go ahead and see what sort of settings we've got. So we'll go ahead and run into settings, telling me how to work it, which is always nice. Now if I can find settings. Let's go ahead and see what software version it's shipping with. We'll go to the bottom, check out about phone. We'll go to, there it is, Android version 4.04. Um, so the most recent version of Ice Cream Sandwich. All right, so let me go ahead and take you through a quick tour of the device. We've got those three on-screen buttons that I mentioned, back, home, 
and a new fancy multitasking button, which I really like because you can swipe stuff right off the screen. On the left hand side, you've got a volume rocker up and down for rocking your volume. Right hand side, that's where the power and lock button is. You've got some connectors there for uh, dock accessories. On the top, boom, nothing except for a noise canceling microphone. On the bottom, uh, that's where your 3.5 millimeter headset jack is gonna live. Charging and syncing port, of course, that's micro USB. On the back, five megapixel camera, LED flash, Sprint branding, Samsung branding, you've got that sort of almost a soft touch feel, but you do have a plastic back. Uh, one nice thing that I do like about the Galaxy series of devices, despite having a relatively flimsy plastic back, it sits pretty flush to the battery, so you don't feel any uh, indent as you push it. So it feels like a much more secure uh, backing than perhaps it actually is. And a speaker grill right down below. Uh, so what do you guys think? Is this the Sprint device you have been waiting for? Uh, we've reviewed the Galaxy Nexus in the past and I came from you know, a big fan. I expect the same experience to translate to Sprint's uh, variant. Uh, leave your comments down below, anything you guys want to see. And of course, we'll have a full review coming at you very soon. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. This has been an unboxing and first look at the Galaxy Nexus for Sprint.